our 12 dog 12 days of grilling <laughs> and we're talking beef again with damon holter from croy valley foods damon nice to see you've got three variations on a burger i do and this is a good thing people i think kind of sometimes ruin burgers on the grill it's sometimes I agree. they're the worst from i the agree grill. and i think that it couldn't be simpler to do as long as you have just a few bits of information and you have a couple of tricks up your sleeve like we're going to show today yes. you can make amazing burgers oh, so, so, so why is that though why is burgers are so simple but yet I think sometimes they can not they're turn like, out the way that yeah they're I think a lot to. of times people overthink it and you know either they're overcooking the meat which is going to ruin the experience altogether mm -hmm. you're not using you know really uh, you know in elevated ingredients I mean in in this instance here all the, all the buns, for example, I, I made these myself, and you don't have to do that at home. You don't have time to do that, but there's little tips and tricks that you can do to elevate that as well. You, don't you want... made the buns? I did. I'm like, wow. a, I'm like a man yeah. of many talents. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, okay. I'm not doing that. Wow, yeah. but you've got different flavors with yes. the bun, which are going to go with the burgers. Okay, so you've Correct. got a Tuscan marinara burger to yeah. start with. Um, tell us about the meat that's going Absolutely. In. So this is the Tuscan marinara burger right here. The meat that we're using is a blended burger that we are using some of our uh, Croy Valley Italian seasoning in it. Okay. With. You can put any, tiny, any kind of Italian seasoning you want. But we've mixed the Italian seasoning with diced onion, and that's what we're using as a base it gives you a lot of uh, amazing flavors and when it cooks down you know you get a textural element as well because you've got the onions in there Good. so this one here has provolone cheese on it we've done a pesto mayo which is nothing more than pesto and mayonnaise mixed together real simple Woo. there's marinara on top and some red onion and a toasted pretzel bun okay it doesn't get simpler than that yeah that's good what do you want us to try that what's happening with this well, are we grilling it? let's talk about the other ones okay, okay let's talk we'll about like to put one together all right you get the steak burger next yes yeah, steakhouse burger so that one one is uh, right here. This is a blended burger that has sautéed mushrooms in the blend, as well as our uh, Croy Valley garlic seasoning. So those are the two things that we're starting with there. We've got that on a uh, on a bun with a horseradish mayo. Again, mm. horseradish and mayo just mixed together. So good. Shredded lettuce. There's Swiss cheese. We've taken the mushrooms and done uh, sautéed them further and braised them in beer simple to do on okay. the stove or on the grill okay and then some crispy fried onions that we've got right over there good choice all together it's you know the the flavors of a classic steakhouse the onions the mushrooms all that but again really easy to do mm. it's, okay. it's not complicated last one i've got here is actually one of my favorites just because it's so packed with flavor this is the greek euro burger yes mm -hmm. this guy right here right in the middle there starts with 80 20 ground beef and we've mixed in our greek seasoning and feta cheese that's the yum. winner right yum, there yum, yeah, yum. the feta that. has so much flavor to it and it doesn't melt out when you cook it because it's really hardy and it, it withstands the temperature so this guy's got some lettuce on there it's got uh, the uh, homemade tzatziki sauce uh, recipes on online as well as uh, 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 tomato and and red onion so you get that fresh it tastes like a gyro yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it I'm, ex I'm excited to try that one because yeah. a burger a burger obviously is hearty but when you make it kind of the gyro style and the Greek mm -hmm. style it sort of lightens it up a little bit so good okay so what's happening when you're on the grill you're saying make sure that you don't overcook it we correct. don't want it overdone and those look like some solid like big patties you're not they doing are. little tiny ones correct what the way that i like to do patties and you can see them right here the way that i like to do them is i i start with either a third or a half pound or i mean you can do a quarter pound depends on what you're looking for but we make them a little bit larger than the bun needs to be but we flatten them out so that they're an even thickness all the way across and not only does that help to promote the burger to cook evenly, but it also gives you a really perfect uh, bed to be able to build all of your ingredients yeah. straight mm -hmm. up so that every bite, edge to edge, is exactly the way that you intended. I like like the burger is bigger than the bun. I do like, too. Like it's yeah. the worst when you get a burger and it's like so much bun to get to the burger. It's yeah. like donuts that aren't properly filled. <laughs> it's just raging too. Well, and, it's, and it's a nice presentation because it feels like you're giving more to the to the person. Like right. it's just kind of like, hey, we're, we're going to overload you with goodness because yeah. it's so right. much is kind of oozing off the sides. Now, the preparation of the actual meat. Now, I keep hearing you don't want to overhandle the meat. Is that correct? That, don't that's correct. It. Yep, for, for a couple of reasons. Number one, your hands are warm and the, the fat and the collagen in the burger will melt. It'll start to melt the more that you start oh, to play with it. So that's one of the things that, that, you know, you can start compacting that beef the more you play with it and you're already melting fat out. That's why you start getting like greasy hands, mm -hmm. especially. So you want to you wanna minimize the amount of time that you're 
actually handling the beef, but you also want it to be cold when you're forming it. And a loosely packed burger is going to have a really awesome mouthfeel when you bite into it, much mm. like you're biting into a steak rather than biting into a really dense meat. It's loaf. not so dense. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All okay. right. Should we build a couple and try? Yeah. We got about go a right ahead. Left, so we got a cruise. Go right ahead. We've got a couple of buns here for yeah. you. You can grab a pair of tongs, throw on whichever whichever items you want there. Thanks. There's some Swiss cheese on that one right okay. there. That right. one's got the uh, blended go mushrooms the in it. Go that one, and I'll okay. go with this one. That that's the good. that's the Euro one. Oh, that's a Greek yeah, one. That's a Greek that. one. Good one. So yours right here would be really great with that tzatziki and the feta. Okay. And Elizabeth, you've got the Swiss right there. Yeah. I would put some of those tangled onions on there and some of this horseradish mayo. I'm going to get after it. Oh my gosh, this is so fun and so good. And if you were doing, whoa, I got a little aggressive there. If you were that's doing okay. like a party, how fun would it to be to have all these things out? And have different burgers and people like burger can try, bar. and you can do a total you burger you bar. Some Absolutely. Hook me up with some of those crispy yeah, there you onions, go. Yeah. buddy. And you made these. Yeah, those onions right there are he made um, marinated uh, ahead of time in some of our original steak sauce that I've got right here. Yeah. And when we take them out after they've been fried, we put a little Parmesan garlic seasoning on top. Look of this. at oh, that. Get after it. Oh my gosh, we got to have a bite. And then there we're going to try all of them. The Euro one. Uh huh. Already. It's incredible. Mm. Packed with flavor, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. The meat is so flavorful. Yeah, absolutely. That's what happens when you're doing that whole blended burger sort of style there. Put the flavors into the meat before you cook it, not necessarily afterwards. Yeah. You're just going to elevate your bite uh, every single time you make it. David, you are a total yeah. pro. It's the feta. Oh, thank you. So good. It's yes. the feta. All right, so you guys, you have to try these recipes. Yum. We did post these on our website, TwinCiesLive.com. And then you can find more information about the Minnesota Beef Council including more recipe ideas and even some meal planning strategies for you, just visit mnbeef.org. Man, that was good. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so our 12 dog continues tomorrow. <laughs> You're going to want to